Callie. Hey guys, John P. All right, uh, so a lot of you have asked to learn more about John's knives. Specifically, the- This seems like a disturbing my, request. My EDCs, everyday carry knives. Oh God. That's what people I'm like- I'm getting even more disturbed. Knifey people call it, EDC. Tell, tell me about people. your EDC. And you know what's even more disturbing? Then having a name for this uh -huh. is a chart. Now the chart is important because you know people ask me <laughs> to share what knives do I personally carry and why. That's another important factor here is why did I select those particular knives? Okay. okay. So, so do tell. Uh, first of all, no, I don't carry all four of these freaking knives with me every day. Okay. I, I usually only carry this one, but we will get to this one in a moment because I'm going to present these in this order from <laughs> okay. smallest, to largest. smallest to largest. Okay. And we'll talk about what they're useful for. So first of all, this is the Leatherman Micra. Now, I love this knife and I will often carry this with others. I actually use this one. You do have one of these. We, I have, I have no joke purchased at least 20 of these. My and God, at, man. I'm serious. And at least 15 of them are now owned by the TSA because they will <laughs> confiscate these. True. Uh, but they're, the good news is it's only a $20 investment. So what is it? It is, uh, it's got scissors. So that's nice. Um, uh, and these scissors are actually quite sharp and they work well. Yeah. It has a little file thing I, file for like girls or I don't know who used that, but <laughs> I use this to poke stuff sometimes. You know, you could use that to dig out your splinter. You got I could. I got a big old splinter. Um, it also has a flat uh, screwdriver here and it has a knife and this tiny little knife is what excludes it from yeah. TSA purposes because you know I might murder like everybody in the plane right. with that right that's the that's the reason I use the leatherman though that's uh, right. most often the for murdering people right okay on the other side it has a little tiny uh tiny screwdriver and a bottle opener yeah i use that for my mexican coke bottles uh huh and this thing obviously the screwdriver is good for like glasses or whatever and because you can never have enough screwdrivers, this is a totally different uh, screwdriver, uh, a small fine tip one. But you notice how this is shaped kind of at the top. It's almost a little yeah. triangular. That allows it to be used on a Phillips head screw. Nice. Even though it's a flat screwdriver, oh, yeah, you can yeah, use yeah, you're it for right. Phillips head. I like right? that. And it's got some tweezers. Nice. All right. So all of that fits in one tiny, tiny little piece. High quality. Um, it's reasonably good steel. Uh, and the little blade stays pretty darn sharp mm -hmm. uh, for a long period of time. Um, so, so where does this fit in on the scale that you have here, the chart? Okay, the Leatherman doesn't publish what kind of metal this is, but I think this is probably 420C, which means that on our scale, this is a scale of relative hardness and toughness, essentially. It puts it at the very the very oh, okay. end. This is the worst. <laughs> That's why you allow me to carry that one. Is that well, no, it's still sharp, <laughs> but because it's made of basically the softest, cheapest steel, this means that it can be you know sharpened and then it gets dull quickly. Sure. But since we're not putting this to any really difficult use, it's not it's, a big deal. It's good. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna step it up from there. Now this is actually another Leatherman. This is the Leatherman. This particular one is called the C33TX. And this particular one is not the one I recommend. I recommend the C33T. But again, I happen to have my C33T with me one time when mm. I went to the airport. That's right. And now it's owned by the TSA. This one, the only difference between the TX and the T is this has a serrated, half of the blade is serrated, which you do not need. Don't buy this. Buy oh, the okay. one that the whole blade is just uh, okay. a blade, no serration, serration. This just makes it harder to sharpen and you don't need that crap. This one actually has a Phillips head screwdriver nice. on it, which I like very much. So you don't have to hack it. This has a particular type of locking mechanism. I you love this lock. one. You Pull this one, you just pull this little thing over and then it folds down. Okay, and it has a little thumb 
uh, notch here, which allows me with one hand to flip it open. So I can flip it open with one hand, squeeze that, and come back. Now here's the difficult part. <laughs> Notice when I do this, yes. I could cut myself. Yes, you could. Okay, so that makes this a little tr trickier, but with a little practice, you can operate it by hand just like this. Okay. Okay, so it has the that screwdriver. It also has a nice big flathead screwdriver here. Yeah. And on the back, it has a carabiner oh, cute. slash bottle opener. You can actually use this for opening your coke. Oh, okay. And it locks in coke. place. And in order to fold it, you push it in and then fold it. So you pull it and it locks. And then you push down and it folds. And then okay? it also has a clip for your belt. And it has a belt clip. Your, uh, That's right. Pocket. Which a pocket clip, which I like to do. Just put it right there. That's where yep. I keep it. I can get to it very quickly. Open it with one hand, use it, close it with one hand, and clip it. So that's good. I like that. All right. Okay, it's Where good is it size. On the sc uh, scale here. Also, let's talk about price. This is thirty-five bucks. Okay. Very affordable. Yeah, it is. Lots of functionality. This one, the steel is actually four twenty HC, which means four twenty so high carbon. Up. It's basically four twenty with some extra carbon, which makes it much much. Tougher and harder, okay? So on this one, you notice it has a scale. Uh, let's just, you know, stick to just this scale, rating scale. The scale, this one's a three, and stepping it up to 440, uh, 420 HC is a four. So it's at least 20, uh, okay. one third, it's basically one third tougher, which means that when we sharpen it, it's going to hold an edge a better. A little longer. But um, how much longer? Like a month longer? Well, it, it's not how much long. It's how much are you using it? But sure. I mean, you could you can use it. Let's say fifty percent more okay. with it with it remaining still relatively sharp. Okay. Plus, it's got all the other goodies. So this is a good pocket carry knife for someone who wants a lot of functionality without a lot of cost. Okay. This one is nice. Now, now you're getting this into this is the one you use on this a is, normal daily This is basis. the one that this is my daily. This is my really my daily carry carry knife. This one is the Benchmade. It's even all messy and dirty. Yeah. It's got sticky stuff from opening the boxes. <laughs> this is called the Griptilian. And they make it in two sizes. This is the regular size and there's a Griptilian Mini which has a blade that's about, I don't know, one inch shorter maybe. This is about three and a half inches I'd say. And the other is maybe three or two and yeah. a half, something like that. Um, this blade, this knife costs about a hundred bucks. Okay, so quite a step up. It's it's three times as much as this blade, and it's only a knife. It doesn't have anything else. Okay, but what does it have? It has two features that I especially appreciate. Number one, this is made out of a different kind of steel. If you look right here, this is called 154 cm. Okay, so when we look on our hardness chart right here, 154 cm is right in the middle. Mm -hmm. This is a 5.25. Ah, yeah, okay. It's a big step so up. Four to... It's a big step up from these others. So that means when I sharpen this blade, it stays sharp much longer. Much better, yeah. So all the box cutting we do up here, yeah. I only sharpen this blade once every couple weeks. Okay. Even with heavy use, and that's when I that's I like to keep the blade like shaving sharp, right. so I can Most literally don't. shave hair off of my arms with it. Okay. Don't do that at home, folks. No. Now this has <laughs> one other feature that I especially like. This is my favorite feature about this knife, and I'd buy it for this reason alone, and that is the locking mechanism. Yeah. Very unique. I do love this. This on either side, here or here, this is a bar that goes through, it slides, so I can pull it back. You notice it's spring-loaded, and when I pull it back, it allows this to fold closed. But you can't do that with one hand. You can do it with one hand. Okay. Also, it has a little thumb piece for pushing it open, and it's got a bit of a spring assist. So what happens is I can flick it partially, and it goes ahead and opens all the way. And when it opens, it locks. And it is a very secure lock. I don't worry about this folding on my fingers and cutting myself. It's very secure. And the action is so smooth that if I pull this back, if I pull the lock down, I can flip it closed and open as you guys see me do all the time. I can, I can basically treat it almost like a like a switchblade, switch blade, okay? which is illegal, correct? So if you <laughs> if you get a little practice, you can do that all day long. 
Nice. And that's very, I like, love that. It's very smooth. Some people tap their feet. Yeah. You know, I flick to waste my knife. time, you flick your knife. I flick my knife open. This one, I think I saw that it said something like Cali on it somewhere. <laughs> it says it's not Cali, but it is <laughs> Cali. I think that makes it. Camellus. Oh, Camille. oh, Camellus. I misread that. I was okay. going to claim it as mine. Right. So this particular one, this is a bigger, this is, this is the biggest Much knife bigger. that I have. You can see how much bigger it is than the Griptilian. It's it's about you know three quarters, one inch longer on the blade, and this one is also the heaviest. Yeah. Um, and it's the thickest. Uh, and what so I use really this for, if I want to go like out in the woods or something like that, and I want a knife that I can really just beat up, I take this one. Turn into a barrel. Yes. Now this one is a VG10. So when we refer back to our chart, you're going to notice VG10 is just just it's beyond just the, the 154CM, but it bumps up from a 5.25 to 6. So this blade is very, very hard. And then they also tell you that it's titanium, carbonitrate, coated, blah, blah, blah. This black coating mm -hmm. on it makes it really durable and tough. Okay. It doesn't scratch easily. But there's one other thing. So because the blade itself is so hard, it holds an edge. It stays sharp. I can cut and cut and cut and cut. Okay. But it's a two-edge, it's a double-edged sword. Uh. Because it's so hard, when it's time to sharpen it, it's harder to sharpen. Ah, uh, yes. Okay? So, you know, it's harder to sharpen, but it stays sharp longer. Okay. This one has... In order to open it, it has a little uh, assist back here. So if I pull back on this, you notice it flips open. Right. Okay. And it has a similar kind of lock to locking mechanism to this little Leatherman in that this little arm here folds. You push it over and it folds closed. And when it opens, it snaps like. into place right there. Okay. How so much is it? This is also about a hundred bucks. Okay. Okay, so this one I can operate with one hand, but you notice I have to do it much slower and I have to be much more careful with right. it because it's just bigger and stuff. Okay, again, um, all of my bigger knives have the belt, uh, the, the, the pocket clip on them. So I can, having something in this hand, I can pull yeah. this out, I can deploy it, cut, I can fold it and I can get it back in my pocket. It's just not as efficient. It's 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 just bigger. It's right. you know, this is if you really need something here. meaty. Yeah. I mean, if I was going <laughs> camping, this is what I yeah. take with me because these are just too small and if I'm going camping, I want to make sure that this thing is really going to stay sharp the whole weekend. Well, that beep meant that you didn't <sighs> charge the battery for once it wasn't me. I'm never going to live that one down. That is awesome. Well, I think you finished anyway, with your we're charts done. Yeah. and all of that. But uh, that was just for you guys, patrons. Thank you for requesting stuff. Let us know what you want to see, what you want to hear, along for the behind-the-scenes stuff that we promised you. We'll shoot it for you. Yep. Out of here. See you later. Bye.